Hello guys, it's me again. I know you haven't seen anything from me for a while now. Uh, simply because of, for a few reasons. A few weeks ago I had a stomach bug, so I couldn't go out, had to recover. Then I went to Sweden. Then in between my uh, my colleague, he got COVID, so I was alone at work and blah, blah, blah. And then the weather was so bad, we had a lot of fog around here, so it doesn't make any sense to make a video because you can't see anything outside. So that's why it took me a, a little while to make the next video. But... I'm still in my kitchen now. You see a little bit of uh, <laughs> the wall just behind me, a little bit of kitchen there. Uh, but I planned something today, so uh, I will go to Vienna in about an hour or so. I'll go with my mom halfway and then I'll take the train to Vienna. I have an idea, the weather is still shite, <laughs> still bad, there's a lot of fog out there, so again, can't do anything else. But I thought I had um, a guest uh, a few days ago here in my castle and I showed her the castle and she told me after I showed her the chapel that the most beautiful architecture she ever saw um, are the churches in Austria. So I thought I'll maybe show you a few churches, a big churches in Vienna. We have a different kind of architect architecture there, Art Nouveau and Gothic and Romanesque. So quite excited to show you that. Uh, if I have enough time later on, I want to see a museum, an art museum. And I know that Charles René Macintosh, the famous architect of uh, Glasgow, that he was invited to Vienna once to create one of the rooms there. And this is the museum. And I still hope that this room is still there as he created it. So I hope to see a little bit of Macintosh there. So you know now, this is the plan. I talked already way too much. So I'll get myself ready. I'm on my way to Vienna and then wait for the next video. Bye bye. So guys, back in Vienna, and I have to say, sometimes I don't have that stupid ideas because I left the underground train now, the subway, to get to the first church and see what I found. I found our parliament. Yeah. Never been inside. Big works going on here, obviously, so you can't get in there anyway. Police is around there. So who knows who is coming along right now. Uh, but yeah, this is our parliament. From the Book Theater, we are coming over to this side, and here is the city chamber stand back. I think I showed it to you last year during Christmas, because you see we are in Christmas mood already. We are preparing for the big Christmas market. They will all start around the 19th of November, so can't wait. I will definitely be back for this one, because it was a really beautiful one. The big uh, Christmas tree is already there in the back. And we'll let the man work now, get it prepared. Preparation are coming along quite nicely for Christmas. Don't worry, I have a lot of things planned for Christmas, so you will get a lot of videos in the next two months here. So, and here we are now walking past one of the main buildings of the University of Vienna. It is a huge university. Not one of the oldest one as University of Glasgow is, but well, I think we have some quite nice architecture there. And as I said, it's just one part of it and it's huge. And I've never been a student myself, a uh, student of university, so don't know how it looks from the inside, but well, you can take the building at least. And by the way, we won the Nobel Prize for Physics this year. Just saying. Getting closer there to the church, and here you see our pimps. You get the life of Vienna here. So before we go in there, we will have breakfast or lunch or brunch, whatever it is. We have a Speckstangel, a bacon stangel. Quite lovely. So I'll enjoy this one, and then I'll be right back with you. So guys, I'm doing this video now for the fifth time because I'm talking shit, yeah? I want to make it beautiful. So, this is now one side of the Votivkirche. Uh, Votivkirche in a neo-Gothic style. Kirche, German word for church. It's a Roman Catholic church and built by the Emperor Franz Joseph. Yeah, he built it because he was assassinated once and he survived the attack. And as a thank you, to God for, for keeping him safe, he started building this church. The first day of the 
uh, the first day they started to build this church was the silver wedding of uh, the Emperor Franz Joseph and his wife Sissi. So it's a quite special one and a quite famous one because of the architecture and the whole of Europe it seems. I'm walking along now and then I'm going inside because it's a really really beautiful church there. So this is now the main entrance of the Votivkirche and you see how fantastic it looks. Also big renovation going along inside of the church. So this was now the Votivkirche, you see behind me once more from the outside. I just want to say I don't mind what sort of religion you belong to, if you even do so. I'm only showing you those churches because mainly of the architecture, just to show you how much different styles of architecture we have here in Vienna. So don't judge me for anything, yeah, I'm still, I'm religious myself, yeah, I'm going to church regularly, so, but I, I don't mind if you go or if you don't go, it's totally up to you, so only see this video for the architecture. So we're going on now to the next church, it's the Kapuziner Kirche. Uh, we have to get there, uh, it takes us uh, a bit, but we will, we will do it, yeah, I'm quite sure. So we are walking past the opera now to get into the city center and here you see the tourist bus. Not as beautiful as the red one in Glasgow, but well, a lovely yellow one. So we are here now on the Franciscana Platz. I'm not quite sure if I told you the right church earlier on. Um, if I said it wrong, sorry, I meant the Franciscana Kirche, the Franciscan Church, called, uh, named after the Holy Hieronymus. This is the, the place just in front of it. And here we have the church, which is from the 17th and the 18th century, and it's a Baroque style. So, let's go inside and have a look. And it is really very Baroque, and also a Roman Catholic church again.
So leaving the Franciscana church behind, we will have a look into the most famous church here in Vienna, the Stephansdom, our Stephans Cathedral, also called the Steffer. No? This one was built in different phases. The first phase was in the 12th century, then it was redone in the 13th and built to it in the 14th century. We have the old Gothic style and a little bit of the old Romanesque style. So this is one side of it and I'll go in now and show you how it looks from the inside. Again, I'm making ready for Christmas. I'm one of those looking forward to Christmas in August already. <laughs> so what I want to show you actually is the Stefan stone there. Still excited for the Christmas market. Also the food is coming along for the Christmas market. This is a little model of the Stefan stone. We're standing now at this corner there. Here you have the real dome, the real spire in the back. And now let's go in. So this is the inside now, but it seems it's closed. It seems at least like that. So I'll have to have a look around then. So there are people uh, able to go inside, but it costs a lot of money. And at a lot of Sido, I have to say, I just don't have so much time now because I want to see the other stuff too. So I'll probably keep this one for next time with more details. But I think you can imagine a little bit how it looks right now. So you see the organ there in the back. So I'll make an extra video for this one in the future. So here you see the Steffel once more from the front, from the main entrance. I promise you'll take extra time next time to do this and give you more details about it. But I'm on my way now to the last church I want to show you, the Karlskirche. Have to walk there for a bit and then we'll have the museum there with Charles René Macintosh there. On my way! One more view from the Steffel from this side, which is quite spectacular, I think. Of the Christmas market next to it. I can't say it often enough. Christmas is coming and I'm looking forward to it. So as you can see, we are preparing for Christmas here too. Not open yet, as you see, but we are more interested into the Karlskirche, which was built in the first half of the 18th century. And it was, she was built by the Emperor Karl VI, that's why it got its name, Karlskirche, Karl VI. And he voted once in the Stephansdom, he will build a, ch a church here on this spot. And it was just at the end of the last uh, plague, uh, plague sickness. Well, if this makes sense now, so, uh, it's just a little bit confused right now. <laughs> So the last time the plague came in, he wanted to build a new church and this is it. And we are going inside now. Uh, we had first today the uh, old Gothic architecture, Gothic style. Then we went to Baroque. Now Then we've been back to Gothic and Romanesque and now here we have Baroque once more. Look at those fantastic pillars there with all the carvings. I think I showed it to you in a different video before, but can't get enough of this beauty. Even more construction going on in here, inside.
This is now the Emperor Carl or Emperor Charles VI and he was the one who said we need a church here. That's why we have the Karlskirche. I walked up now to the organ, which we have here and even more fresh because up there. And now a fantastic view there into the church. Here is now a model of the church and we also know now that she is 70.5 meters high which is 231 feet. That's quite impressive. And we can even get up onto the roof of the church. I have no clue. I mean, I paid for the entrance to be honest, so I expected something. <laughs> no, but that's, that's quite fantastic. Fantastic view of the two pillars of the carvings, and we have a lovely view over the city center. There in the back, there, there is the Steffel, Stefansdom, and here's the Karlsplatz, Karl's Place. As you can see, the weather is not very fantastic. <laughs> But, well, I'll take that. So the way leads back to the organ. Last few for you. Organ up here. Church down there. And that's me off now to the museum. So this is now it, the last stop on this tour today. Called the Secession. And with a bit of luck, we will still find the room that Charles René Macintosh designed in there today. It reminds me a little bit of him already on the outside, just a tiny bit. Never been in before. So let's see what happens inside. It looks quite expensive though. Well, maybe real gold up there? Hmm, who knows? So, little change of plans, uh, the guy inside told me there's only one room open at the moment and the new exhibition will start next week, so I'll keep the money and come back the next few weeks to see it all because I don't, don't, don't only want to see just, see just one, uh, room, one room. I asked him about Charles René Macintosh, obviously he has no clue who it is, so I will have to find out for myself, see the succession behind me. But I have a plan B because it's a wee little bit too early to go home now. I'm going into another museum, it's about music, and I'll show you when I'm there. So I'm walking along here, changed my plans once more. Um, that's me for today, it's not that bad anyway. I keep the other museum for later on, for the next time. Uh, the weather's getting quite bad now, so better to get home. Make have it warm and cozy because it's getting quite cold here now in Austria. And well, I hope you enjoyed the, the little tour of churches this time. Uh, see those different uh, styles and architectures we have here in Vienna. And we, maybe the woman from America was right. Maybe this is the most beautiful architecture of churches here. I don't know. I liked it. So hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon. Don't get bored with me. You will get a lot of videos this now, this time now uh, because it's Christmas. So you will see. Bye bye.